Tonight, we're here to send the mayor off, an Indian mayor off to be the, to be, I almost said the Prime Minister of Winnipeg, to be the mayor of Winnipeg. Let's give him a round of applause right off the bat. And sitting up here is one of the programs he started at the University of Manitoba, the Young Warrior Program. Let's give him a round of applause too. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a prayer. I'm going to pray. I'm going to ask the Creator to be with us, everybody that's here, to be with us as we are here praying, as we're here celebrating that we have a candidate, we brought a candidate this far, that we're celebrating him and that we're sending the best wishes out of our hearts, out of our minds for him. So I'll ask you all to stand. This feather that I'm going to hold up, that belonged to my uncle in the Korean War. He was a young man when he went over there, and he stayed in the army, always doing good things for his country. He passed away, this feather was given to me, just within the last 10 days. So I'm going to use that to pray. <laughs> Robert his family Every day of their lives, as they walk along in their lives, taking that program that they're learning at the University of Manitoba. These four elders here that have come here to stand beside us, to stand beside the prayers here, to stand beside us. These four elders. All of you, I ask the Father to be with you every day of your lives as you walk here on the Canadian soil. It's been the good to kind of women and no man no toy down kitty money to. It's been the good to kind of women and no man no toy down kitty money to. Hey, hey. Go ahead, boys.
Wow. Robert Falcon Let's journey and his travel to becoming mayor, hopeful mayor for the city of Winnipeg. And, uh, we are fortunate enough to uh, be a part of this Young Warriors program. And, um, you know, this drum, two of us, me and Lionel here, and uh, we're not all up here right now, but in spirit we are because we're, you know, we're, we're, we practice with this drum and and uh, it keeps us together along with this, you know, this education, this, our, our inspired, inspiration, you know, inspirational man here, Robert, he's, he's really shown us, uh, you know, shown us the light and we just have to, we have to reach out and take it, we have to take the opportunity and not, not for granted, we have to take it and we have to hold it in our hands and not let go and, you know, carry on life strong and, you know, gentle on the earth but strong in spirit and, you know, I was going to get um, Lionel here to talk a little bit about the program because he's the man here and uh, he, has a, he has a big voice, he has a big voice, you know, you, you know, we're all here together as young warriors in this program, so. Alright, so, the program started off with an idea, the idea of being young Aboriginal males within the community who were given a second chance, an idea, basically the spark, the whole philosophy behind it is the rarity that the true fact is Aboriginal mayors, uh, Aboriginal students, I should say, <laughs> is a rare commodity on the student campus. And fact stated by Christmas, technically most of us should be already dropped out, given up. And we were told about this idea where we would group together, bond, get this attachment, get this brotherhood, which we have already with our short amount of time that we got. And we're gonna help each other through motivation, schooling, counseling each other when we have problems. And the whole philosophy is to change the statistics and that we all graduate after four years coming out with a degree and then, you know, hopefully that will spark. Our main, motive, our main objective now is to continue this philosophy and then get the 16 and 17 year olds to further their post-secondary education and let's make this a trend and spark this change from our communities. We're all, we all from North End. I don't know about my other gentlemen, what side they moved to. So this is definitely a change and we all got it from this gentleman right here, Falcon who led. And this is what he's done as an academic to encourage us males to go further on in our education to do something. And by this leadership, we have gained the skills and the motivation and the inspiration to do exactly what he's doing. And then give us four years, you'll have all of us running for, for his seat. And let's hope that. Right? So this is the Young Warriors. Brought to us by Falcon and Van Nis. That's his academic achievement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, young men there. Young warriors, I'm so proud of you. I wish for more to make us. Now, Jeff here is a champion tap dancer. And uh, he just told me about that. And so if you tell me something, I use you right away. So. <laughs> okay, well, while you're looking for them. All right, so uh, right after this then, Robert, what we're going to do, and Catherine, what we're going to do, is we want to have uh, the real gentleman choir come up and sing. And so the Riel's Gentleman Choir, I would ask you to come on up right now because I want to use you. I want you to do this in between each verse. I want you to do that in between every, every verse that I sing. And I want you to dance and just have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, we've said our prayers, we've done our honor songs, we've done our traveling song, and now we have the mayoral candidate sitting there. We're here to have some fun. That's what we're here for. We're here to have some something good to eat, some song, and some fun. So I didn't know these guys were so many. Holy cats. <laughs> All right, hey. So boys, so you're just going to listen to me. 
And you're going in between every verse. I'm going to go. Oh, my God. 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 So you guys, when Jeff is dancing there, make sure you do some yelling. And if you want to dance along there behind him, make sure you dance behind him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to repeat after me. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! La Bella Riviera. La Bella Riviera. Sakul. Trophy pour moi. Give me a little bit of guitar there, please. We'll try again. Thank you. Okay, there we go. All right. Nothing like having a little problem just to start off with, okay? Hey, hey, Benefit Samadhi, don't say, Benefit Samadhi, don't say,
We are the Real Gentlemen's Choir. You may notice that we're a bunch of white guys. Uh, uh, we chose this name because Riel founded this province and he founded it for everybody. So that's, that's where the name comes from. You know it. Uh, when Robert Falcon is elected mayor, he's going to uh, do very well by us. But sometimes our politicians don't do very well by us. This is a song about that.
Fine Gardener special presentation right now. Come on up, girls. Let's give them a big round of applause as they come. Here they come. In uh, northern Manitoba, it is tradition for uh, when a new leader is appointed that the community wraps him in a star blanket. So this star blanket was made by the uh, elder women in Split Lake, Manitoba, and it was gifted to uh, it was gifted to the chief there, who gifted it to Kaylee, and she thought she would like to give it to Rob. So, Rob, we acknowledge your leadership, no matter how things turn out on Wednesday, and we hope that we are wrapping the mayor of the city of Winnipeg. To receive this it's an honor and many people do I've never received one in my life uh, but uh, this is so beautiful to see that Robert and uh, let's give another round of applause for that so beautiful to see that congratulations thank you very much I really appreciate that that gift it's um, uh, far too much honor uh, for me so thank you for gifting it and the, the voyage that it's made. One day, maybe I'll give the gift to a younger child that we see here, or who were here. We were many children here earlier tonight, and perhaps I will have the opportunity to give it to a future leader that might be in our community and was among us this evening.
happy to be here to support Rob. We wish him all the best of luck. And uh, I'm sure he really appreciates all you being here and your support. That's kind of what this next song is about, is sticking it out, no matter what happens. It's called All Wait.
this next song we're going to play, uh, I wrote a few years back. And I was at a time in my life where I needed to, uh, to make some positive changes. Because um, I wasn't really living healthily. I was drinking a lot and not taking care of myself. And, um, you know, uh, whether it be like uh, a city trying to make changes, a country, or even if it's you, you have to identify what the problem was first. And it took a long time for me to recognize that alcohol was sort of my common denominator in most of my problems in life. And um, it wasn't very useful to, to myself and people around me um, while I was living that way. And it's been, a, it's been a challenge, but it's been a great challenge. And I've had a lot of great support and great friends and family that have sort of stepped by me through that. And, um, that's sort of what this next song is about, is just working at uh, any changes you want to make day by day and you sort of being the change and being the beginning of that. This is called Get It Right. Time won't wait 
Warriors drum group still here? Somewhere? Maybe? No? Maybe not. They may have left. Well, we were going to invite them up and see if they wanted to play drums on this song, but I guess we'll have to, have to do it next time.
Thank you very much. That wouldn't have sounded as pretty without you guys. We did a bigger tour van. Anybody want to come on tour? <laughs> well, we got one more song for you guys. And then uh, Scott Nolan's up next, which is quite a treat for you guys, I think. For us, too.
I'm all alone up here. You guys seem so far away. He got your mama's eyes, your daddy's smile, you hear him look at me like that in a while, shake loose. Come on, baby, shake loose. When I get down to the street, what to do? I'm gonna shake loose, shake loose. My heart stands, follow the tune, the high strong fire, baby, in the reader's room, shake loose. Come on, baby, shake loose. But you the queen, boy, you act well, now I'm gonna do some shake loose.
to write Sneaks and alleys, walks the walls excited to have fun, instead of playing all your morose, somber, bummer kind of songs, you should do something fun like Duran Duran or something. And uh, so for him, I'm going to do this, and maybe the Sweet Alibi girls know this one. I think it should be Robert Faulkner's campaign song.
and gentlemen, this has been an absolute remarkable journey for me, my family, everyone around us, everyone in our city. And I want to thank each and every one of you personally from the bottom of my heart for coming out and supporting what this vision is that we have put forward for each and every one of us in this city. I want to share with you a message that I received about the impact this campaign. I want to share with you a message about the impact that this campaign has had on many of our fellow citizens. And this is what someone wrote me. My cousin is 52 years old lived in Winnipeg for 30 years and has never, never voted. Never felt inspired to do so, always thought her vote did not matter. Today she went to the advance polls and she voted for you. She told me with tears and pride and joy, never before has she felt so empowered and the feeling as though she actually mattered. She wants to thank you. When I had this message, we were a little bit lower in the polls. And that truly lifted up my spirits. It was an absolute amazing feeling and I had the opportunity to share this with the other members of the campaign. This is what this campaign has been about from day one. Trying to inspire each and every one of us that we can actually create a better world. It's actually about empowering all of us to believe that society can actually work for all of us. It is about sending a message to all citizens across this city that your voice not only will be heard, but that you can make a difference and that you matter to each and every one of us. Now there are people across this city who feel this way. Every age, every walk of life, every neighborhood. My message to them is your vote does matter. And the power to deliver real change in this election is in your hands. Don't let anyone tell you that your vote does not matter. Don't let anyone tell you that your vote does not count. Don't let anyone scare you against voting against your own conscience, your own interests, or your own heart. I have said it before, you are not just supporting the campaign, you, each and every one of you, are the campaign. Many of us dream, hey Julian. <laughs> Many of us dream of the ideal of a society where people are equal. It is during elections at the ballot box that we come closest to that ideal, where our vote makes us equal. At the ballot box, women are equal to men. All religions are equal. The millionaire has no more say than someone who is homeless in our city, or than someone who might sleep under a bridge at night. That is the awesome power of our democracy but it is only powerful if we seize that moment and that time to make that difference. And so I have been moved by the extraordinary support of the Aboriginal community, all communities here in the city of Winnipeg. Are you, are you ready for change? Are you ready for change? Because you are not alone. Because I have spent this campaign talking to people across this city who are hungry for change and real change. Not just change for change, but thoughtful change, intelligent change. And you know what they want? They want a mayor who is fair and decent and independent. And it doesn't matter if they live in River Heights, in Tuxedo, or in Wolseley, if they live in St. Norbert, Old Kildonan, and St. Boniface, if they live in Fort Richmond, in Linden Woods, Fort Gary, and Riverview. They may be Christians, Muslims, Jewish, Hindus, and even Sikhs. They may say Namaste or even Salamat Ukumusta. What they want is a city that is united in common cause, and they are ready to grapple with the issues that have been put off for far too long in our society, that we have not dealt with because we have not had the leadership who has the courage to do so. All our citizens want to roll up their sleeves and take on those challenges. They are great in numbers. We are great in numbers. And if we work together, we can lighten that burden. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> now, we have not chosen the world that we have inherited. <laughs> but we can work together from, so that in 20 years from now, our young children, will not be seeing the same social issues that we have been talking about in this campaign. Because it is not normal for society to have such inequality. 
We as citizens have been working towards common goals, and sadly we are faced too often with a system that has shut us out, that wastes our money, that has told us to settle and has divided us for far too long. At the outset of this campaign, I said to you, my fellow citizens, the people of Winnipeg, you give me hope. At least they're not crying. <laughs> in the face of corruption, you continue to believe in honesty. In the face of exclusion, you continue to believe in the ideal of one city. That we are walking together and working together into Winnipeg's future. It is time to stand up to the old way of doing politics, which seems to continually ignore the real issues of all citizens. If we can to believe in one city united in common cause, and I call on all citizens from all walks of life to join in delivering real change to our city. So on October 22nd, in a few short days, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, Tell everyone you know about what needs to happen in this election because we collectively can make a difference. So get to the polls, cast your vote for mayor, and join us in making the change so we can actually change the course of this history of our city and make real history and show what Winnipeg is truly, truly about. So, merci beaucoup, tapwe. Merci, thank you very much, and salamat. Canada, everybody says to tell you we love you and everybody supports you. Thank you very much. I'm going to tell you something very quickly. So I was at the Chamber of Commerce doing a debate earlier this week and this is a place that I wouldn't expect to find much support because most of my support is found in the working class, many of the young people, indigenous people, newcomers in our city. And in fact, I was polling at some place in the, uh, at the Chamber of Commerce because they took a poll of all the business people who were there. I was in second place. And we did the debate, and there was a gentleman, he was in first place, who was a former president. And by the end of the debate, he was in third place behind me, and someone who was at 7%, who has said some things about various groups in our city, moved up into first place. But in that crowd, there were no indigenous peoples, there were very few young people, there were no francophones, there were very few newcomers. And so those groups, when I go out and meet them, I know they're behind me. And they haven't been listened to, they have been ignored in the polls. And so this is the power and the surprise that may happen on Wednesday. And you have the power to truly make that happen. So don't give up hope, it is there and believe. Okay, to celebrate then, what we're going to do is we're going to have a round dance all around the hall, everybody join in, and then after that we're going to just do once around the hall, and then we're going to do the draw, so keep your tickets, here we go, everybody pick round dance all around the hall, the mayor is going to lead it. <laughs> no. oh. 